Hi everyone and welcome to this comprehensive review of all the squishy gels you can buy online. I've tested out all of these and this video will show you which ones are perfect for making Tava squishies. In a previous video, I mentioned that you can buy these from AliExpress, Timu or Amazon and some people weren't happy about me mentioning certain shopping platforms. So I just want to clarify that I am not sponsored by any of these companies and I'm just telling you where I buy my own craft supplies from. I've been shopping from these websites for years and I've never had a bad experience, but if you're not comfortable with any of these, then feel free to use something different. This video is about the product itself and not where you get it from. So regardless of which shopping platform you use, you're probably going to come across these bottles. They don't have any brand names on them, so you can only tell them apart based on the packaging design. I also have a review for this bottle at the end of the video because it arrived too late to be included with the rest, but this one came with a pretty big surprise. So the first one we've got is this pastel design with hearts and sparkles. This is the version with English text on the front and I'm going to mix up 80 grams. Then I'm adding some color with an oil-based silicone pigment. Those Tabba hamsters you see everywhere are actually made using these pudding molds. If you don't plan on making big batches of squishies every time, then feel free to cut these up. They do tend to tip over a bit more easily, so you have to be careful, but I prefer working with separate molds. The next step is Vaseline, which is mandatory for all Tabba squishies. Especially for a detailed mold like this, use a brush to get the Vaseline into all the tiny corners. I'm also going to turn it inside out to check that every bit is covered. Now I'm pouring the squishy gel inside and realize that 80 grams is a bit too much. I'd say this mold takes about 60 grams. Next up, we have the exact same bottle, but in Chinese instead of English. I'm assuming that both of these contain the same type of silicone. A confusing detail here is that the front says it cures in 24 hours, but the back says three to five hours. This sort of discrepancy is very common on Tabba silicone packaging, which is another reason why I'm testing out all of these so you don't have to. There's another thing I have to mention about this product. I actually ordered the same squishy gel back in December 2023 and I never got the chance to test it out. As you can see, bottle A has completely discolored, which I've never seen before. Silicone is usually shelf-stable for at least several years, and I've never seen a squishy polymer turn this disgusting color within a few months. I don't think this is a good sign. It doesn't smell any different, but I'm definitely not going to use this batch for crafting. So going back to the new bottle, this one still looks okay, but I also feel that the color is starting to change. I'm adding some pink pigment in here and then pouring it into the mold. The next squishy gel comes up a lot on AliExpress, and it's this one with a bold colorful design and square graphics. Aside from telling you the mixing ratio, it contains no information whatsoever about the curing time or what's inside. This could be a molding silicone, a mochi gel, or a taba gel, and I kind of like the mystery of it all. I'm mixing up 60 grams this time, and it fits exactly into the mold. Now we've got this silicone, which is hot pink with sprinkles, almost like the top of a donut. Just like the first two, the front says it has a curing time of 24 hours, and the back says 3 to 6 hours. I'm not sure if this means the gel inside is the same as the other two, or if it's just a mistake on the label. However, this one does give you a lot more information, such as the ingredients, the manufacturing date, and location. Last but not least, we have this bottle with a light pink sparkly design. It's immediately obvious that this one is really similar to the pink donut one. Aside from the color palette, the writing is completely identical and even the manufacturing date is the same. Based on this, I'm guessing that both of these bottles contain exactly the same type of silicone. As a control experiment, I'm going to use this tab of silicone that I got from China. I know for certain that this one works because I bought it directly from the factory. But I didn't know at this point that this one is going to end up in disaster, even though it's the gel that I've used many times before. You probably can't see anything wrong here, but there are actually two big mistakes in this clip, which I'll explain in a bit. So there are three important factors that determine whether silicone is suitable for making tabas. The first is that it cures in three hours. The second is that the surface has to be sticky, which means it can be flocked with powder or cornstarch. 
The last and most interesting feature is that you can increase the mixing ratio to 1 to 2 or even 1 to 3 and it's still going to cure. This is something which is absolutely not possible with other types of silicone. Here's a quick example of what it looks like. This cat paw is made with a standard ratio of 1 to 1 and has a classic Taba texture. You can see that if I go up with liquid B, then it looks even more satisfying. The rebound time is slower and you have this wonderful water texture. I can go even higher to get a super soft, jelly-like cat paw. At this stage, the squishy might not hold its shape very well, but it's still incredibly fun to play with. Now it's been 6 hours and I want to see how many of these have cured. The first one feels solid on top, but it's very soft and I have a feeling that this one hasn't cured all the way through. The pink one feels exactly the same. I can push it down with my finger, but the inner part here still feels liquid. To my pleasant surprise, this mystery squishy gel has cured completely. The surface isn't as sticky as I would have liked, but the texture is definitely softer than a mochi squishy. The remaining three have also cured within this short time frame, which means that all of these are Taba squishy silicones. This is after 24 hours, and as I suspected, the first two gels needed much longer to cure. The texture feels totally different, and it's actually a lot firmer than the others. It demolds without any problems, however I did notice this tiny mistake here. This hole was caused by an air bubble, which is usually not a problem with squishy silicone, but it can happen if you use molds with a lot of detail. Normally, the bubbles will rise to the top, but the shape of the mold here meant that one tiny bubble got trapped inside. So be sure to tap your cup on the table a few times before you pour it inside, which allows any bubbles to dissipate. The pink hamster is pretty much identical, but none of these are sticky at all. These are softer than Elmer Squishy, which has a silicone hardness of Shore 00. However, this one is definitely not a Tapa Squishy gel. Combined with the fact that I got one batch which changed color, I would really not recommend getting this brand. Now comes the remaining four, all of which are Tapa Squishies. Bear in mind that there are many factors that can affect the curing process, so tiny differences in texture doesn't necessarily mean that one brand is better than the other. The yellow one is super squishy, but it's definitely on the firmer side for a Taba. The green one is softer, and the coloring here also came out perfect. The blue one is even squishier, and it sticks and pulls away from your skin when you squeeze it. This is typical of Taba Squishies, and it's something that you want to aim for when you're making them. The final one is the control piece, and this is the softest. However, I also realized that something was very wrong when demolding it. As you can see, the blue paint has settled to the bottom and created this ugly looking layer. I thought it would be easy to wash off, but it's almost impossible because the pigment sticks to the silicone. This is the best I could do, and I'm really not happy with the result. It's such a shame because the texture is perfectly fine and it's just the paints that mess things up. If I look back at the pouring parts, then I notice that there were little dots of blue inside. This means the paints didn't fully dissolve into the silicone. I also realized that mixing exactly 60 grams of silicone to save material was a mistake because it meant I had to pour everything inside the mold. Any undissolved paint is going to be at the bottom and you don't want that going into your squishy. So it's always best to mix up slightly more silicone than the size of your mold and leave the last 10 grams or so inside the cup. I decided to make a second purple hamster using different pigments that I know won't cause any problems. Then I started painting the eyes onto the remaining pieces. I'm using plain acrylic paint to save time, but bear in mind that this won't stick that well on silicone. I'm also using pastel dust to create some fur markings, and this reminds me a lot of my own hamster Fluffy, which longtime viewers might remember. The second purple squishy has already cured, and this turned out much better. The only issue is a tiny pocket of undissolved paint, which I managed to clean up using tape. So here we've got the final squish test of all four tabas. I would say that yellow, green, and blue are extremely similar. The purple one is the softest, but unfortunately the place I got it from doesn't ship internationally. 
This would have been the end of the video, but we have an unexpected plot twist. This squishy gel arrived while I was editing, so I decided to film it quickly and include it in the video. The packaging is super basic, with zero information, so I really wasn't expecting much. However, to my surprise, this one produced an extremely soft and squishy taba. I would say this is the same as the taba gel that I got from China, and the surprise winner out of all. So if you're looking for taba squishy gels, I would recommend this blue one first, then the two pink ones, and then the blue and purple one. Stay away from this bottle design because it can easily discolor and the result doesn't have a taba texture anyway. I'm Joanna, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!